Hello everyone and welcome to the room tour 2022. Now I know many of you have been asking me to give a room tour since a while now and the room is still not yet completed but it's at a stage where I can give you guys a small tour. There are many more things to come but the things which are currently present are still pretty important and amazing for me at least. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Let's start with the latest addition of my bedroom. The new bed which I just bought from IKEA. It's a 80 by 200 cm bed and really comfortable. I am running a 5 m LED strip behind it to give it a very futuristic look which is kind of the vibe of my whole bedroom. I do have a wooden table on the side set of 3 which I bought from Amazon many years back and here is a moon lamp which is a great addition to the whole vibe of the bedroom. bought from amazon again goes pretty well with the room and here are my new sneakers which i just like looking at so why not and here is a custom made cupboard this one is for my shoes this one is my brothers and this one is mine and on the top i have two more storage areas which contains my boxes from lego and nickelodeon which was sent out to me by them so thank you guys for that and there are also two more drawers on the side of my bed. The first one contains my comforter which matches with my room and I use to sleep in the night. Some extra towels and yeah, I guess that's about it. The second one contains my spare bag, some extra pillows and plastic which I may need to throw out. Accurate lighting is something which is really important in a bedroom and here are the vibes which I personally like to keep. The first one is the royal vibe where I turn on all the spotlights which are warm white in color in my room to give it a perfect royal look. When I just want to chill with my friends just turn off the spotlights and just keep the ceiling on and the blue lights. A pretty good vibe. and here is the devilish vibe this i usually keep when i just want to keep my room low key when i'm like sad or either playing valorant because red you know but i do like to keep this color as it looks pretty great and let me know what you think of red and here is the good night vibe <laughs> My jokes aside guys, here's how my bed looks when I open it up. It turns into a queen size bed, which is pretty comfortable for me and my brother to sleep together. Now, I do have a lot of space to walk as well. It does not make my room look smaller. The chair does get a little crampled, but no one uses this setup when we are opening the bed. So, no problem at all. And here is the bat cave vibe, which is present most of the time in my room. Now, let's go to the console gaming setup. Having a good console setup while having a good PC setup hits different. I do spend most of my time sitting on my bed and playing my PlayStation 4. I do plan on upgrading to the PlayStation 5, but I'm waiting because I can't right now due to the lack of quality exclusives. I do have my PlayStation 4 controllers, my remotes, my routers on the left as you guys saw before. And here's a little storage space where a tissue paper box, my 2 terabyte hard drive and orbit cores. Why not? Here's a dustbin which I bought from IKEA. And cable raceway is going through the back hiding all the cables. And here is my PC. RDX 2080, Intel i9. The whole spec list is in the description. And the main thing of my console setup is my TV. This is the Sony Bravia with a built-in soundbar and a subwoofer, 43 inches, goes pretty well with our room and has a 3 meter LED strip on the back. Playing Batman in this room is such a good vibe. Like I do play Batman all day because Batman is my favorite superhero. Comment down below which is your favorite superhero. I do plan on upgrading the TV and the sound system when I buy the PlayStation 5 as I would like to buy a 120 Hz TV to receive the full performance of the PlayStation 5. I don't prefer watching Netflix in this room as I do have a mini cinema in my hall. 
The wallpaper seen on the TV and my monitor is powered by the Wallpaper Engine app. It's pretty amazing. It brings down the room a lot more. Now, we are done with the console setup. Let's come to the PC setup. The first thing present on the left of the table is a Razer logo sticker, which I got with my new mouse, the newest addition to the PC setup. Now, the next thing we see is the IKEA headphone stand. This thing is amazing. And on top of that, I have my headphones. These are the Bolt Audio Pro Bass, 50% noise cancellation. Not the best, but they get the job done. I do plan on upgrading these soon. Let me know which headphones should I buy. And then below that, we have an Iron Man Funko Pop because this is my brother's and my personal favorite character from Marvel Universe. And I do keep my phone there for notification and FaceTime calls while on the PC. Then I have my AirPods 2 and Sony WFC 500 Buds. They both are pretty great. I love using them. And here is my gaming keyboard. This is the SK64 by Skylong, Gateron Brown Switches, and these are so good for editing and gaming. Here is my microphone which I'm currently using right now, a Fifine K669B, amazing microphone, best budget microphone ever made. And here is the newest addition to the setup, the Razer Viper Mini, just 61 grams and one of the best gaming mouses in the market. I love using this for my Fortnite builds and Valorant and editing. And here is my monitor. This is the BenQ XL2411 60Hz and this monitor is going. So I'm about to buy a new monitor and that will change the setup. Here's a little storage space which I used to do some work and here is my 2020 MacBook Pro which I just bought for editing and other work. Love this beast. And here on the right is my curtain. It's blue, matches my room. And when I open it, it gives a nice road view. Nice fabric as well. And please don't look at that area. It's still not completed under work. And here are the four drawers. The first one is for my general stuff. Second one is for my cable management tools. Third one, books. And the fourth one is for my games and tools. Only OGs will understand the last games. I do love this drawer, it gives out my collection. I do plan on upgrading my collection, so stay tuned for that. And here is my gaming chair. This is the Green Soul Beast series, if I'm not mistaken. I do love this chair, eight to nine hours, no brainer. I have added these external cushions, which I bought from Amazon, and they changed the whole experience of the chair. I do recommend to the people who sit for long hours on their chair, do buy this. And while sitting on this chair, as soon as I look to the left, I see myself. This is a mirror which I bought from IKEA. Wow, the new additions to the room. I love this thing, mirror selfies, watching yourself while gaming, everything, check. And here's the end of the room tour. It took a lot of planning and a lot of effort to get this room in motion. And now it's at a stage where I find it revealed, but don't take this as the final form. I do have a lot of changes to make and a lot of additions are yet to come but all I can say is just stay tuned because I do want to take this room to another level and I hope to move into a bigger room soon and by the end of the year I do plan on changing the whole room so stay tuned for that and if you like the video please consider subscribing as many of you aren't subscribed to the channel and yes Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought of this room and what what was your favorite part and what type of changes would you like if you want to make any changes in this room. Please let me know in the comment section. Well, adios for now. Sayonara.